Hey there, everyone. So, I thought I'd try the 404 challenge thing in Minecraft, which is probably a terrible idea. Because, you know, the whole point is to make Minecraft harder, and... One of the things I don't like about Minecraft is the dying and losing crap, but... I'll just try to play it careful. And... Alright, good. Okay, so the rules of the 404 challenge world... ...are basically that there's a hole... there's a cave under that thing. And it's a pretty fucking awesome cave, I have to admit. And so, at the end of this first day, I have to go into that cave, and I can never come back to the surface. So, in preparation, I'm going to get a bunch of tools, and gather a bunch of stuff. Um, basically, I'm going to get a bunch of wood, and I'm going to get a bunch of sand. I already tried, um, I tried this once, and failed pretty bad, because I sort of forgot how much preparation you really need to do to actually survive in Minecraft. Um, you need stuff like tools, you need, um, you need shorter view distance because of lag, you need, um, well, for one thing, I can't make any torches, so going down there is really dangerous, so basically I need lava for light, but, um, I tried to do that, and to use lava for light effectively, I really need some glass. But I forgot to gather sand, so I'm going to make sure to get a whole bunch of sand. Um, and a few other things that are hard to get on the surface, or to, hard to get when you're not on the surface. Keep pressing E, or I keep pressing I for inventory. I changed it to E so I don't have to fucking dick around with uh, reaching all the way across the keyboard. Alright. Need some sticks. Lots of sticks. And X. Two axes should do me. Two axes. Shovel. I need lots of shovels, actually. I want lots of sand. And a couple picks. Actually, hopefully, I can find some stone, but. Um, one of his rules is that you're not supposed to go into any caves the first day, um, except for sunlit ones. I'm 100% sure why, just to really limit your amount of resources you can get and shit. So, I guess I'm going to be playing this one a lot more carefully than I usually do, which could make it fun, I suppose. Also, it'll be a lot harder to find the animals and stuff once I'm underground, but I should be able to spawn them underground if I have enough light and I have dirt. I at least think that is the case. Also, remember to get a b bunch of saplings. Also get a bunch of dirt. Um, stone will not... it won't be a problem to find stone, of course. Speaking of stone, hello. Um, but dirt... dirt is underground a lot. Um, that sounded retarded, but you know what I mean. Um, but it's harder to find than it would be on the surface. Also, I'm probably not supposed to even fucking do this. The rules are pretty strict about, oh, you're not supposed to go into caves or something. Maybe this counts as a cave. I don't know. They were a bit, like, exceedingly picky about the rules. I'm not going to follow them completely strictly. And if I die, honestly, I'm probably just going to, you know, play in the same world again and just go find my stuff. But, um, wait, what do I need coal for? Oh, yeah, I guess I can use it for non-torch purposes. You're also allowed to use jack-o'-lanterns, which are basically, um, torches. They're just a lot harder to come by, because it's hard to find those stupid pumpkins. Also, I should really just get some rock. Or some cobblestone. So I can make better tools. Alright, that is enough of the dirt, or the, not dirt, the stuff. For now. Now I must make... I must make... Shovels. Better, more better shovels. Alright. Much better.
Don't know how much dirt I have, but... Dirt's not that much of a priority, but it can be kind of helpful. How many saplings do I have? Nine. It's not as many, so I was thinking... Whatever, though. I want some... Wait, what time is it? Uh, it's like noon. Whatever. I'll get some wood. Quick. Ooh, lots of saplings, actually. That was sort of funny. My last, um... Okay, once I go into the cave, I'm gonna kind of freak out, because it's, um... For one thing, it's fucking goddamn impossible to see for shit. Um, and that's really, really annoying. I don't even mind the danger so much as the fact that I can't freaking play when it's that dark. I just bumble around aimlessly. But, there is some lava that I found, so I just run straight to the lava, which I pretty much always do, anyway. And... I may, I tried to make a little home around the lava, but I didn't have enough dirt to do a dirt home or anything. Um, so I made it out of wood. But the lava was exposed because I didn't have any glass, so it burned. There was also assorted other failures in that attempt. It was pretty bad. Basically all I did was gather some wood, some saplings, and went right into the hole. I actually went before it was even nightfall. So, um, I just got really impatient, um, I hate gathering wood and stuff, that's, the grinding type stuff is one of the big things I don't care for about anymore in, uh, Minecraft, but whatever. Gravel, um, you might want to gather some gravel while you're up on the surface, but gravel isn't too rare in caves. Also, there should be a huge um, deposit of gravel um, that'll fall into your cave from where you make the uh, start thingy. But sand is definitely important, and I can't even... I should have um, held out a sand thingy in my inventory. Oh god, oh god. Great. Oh right, difficulty level. Okay, it's on normal. I'm not playing it on hard, because fuck that. Um, I won't be turning it to peaceful or anything lame, though. But, yeah, I'm not going to follow the rules that strictly. I've sort of already said that, but... There's some kind of stupid rule. They seem to be very, very picky about certain things. Like, I'm not supposed to, like, go into, um... Like, I'm only supposed to mine... Um, elements like um, coal and stuff, if I see it on the surface, or like it's exposed in a wall, I'm not supposed to dig down for anything, which that could get kind of annoying. Shit, I need to stop being a moron. Me need to stop being a moron. Hit no good. Oh, I should also look up some of the new crafting recipes, because stuff like beds and stuff could put... Wait, what am I saying? Beds would not be useful in this world ever, because daylight does no longer no longer matter, so I guess that's interesting. Does this sandstone stuff... Should I gather any of that? I don't even know. Um, I've barely played since um, since the inception of the beta, actually. Um, I was mostly an alpha kind of guy. Um, more ways than one, giggity. Anyway. If, um, if there's anything I should... Yeah, basically assume that I'm very incompetent of anything since the beta started. So, if anyone wants to give me tips on Minecraft, please do. So I'm fairly out of the loop at this point. Also, it's about ten minutes, so the day should be ending, right? Looks like I've got at least 128 things of sand, or more, probably. Ah, very good. I can think very well in binary exponents, but I can't think 128 plus 64 quite like I can of simple binary exponents. That should be what? 172? I guess, I don't know. Alright, that is sandstone. I can't break that with this. Not that easily, anyway. Oh, right, I'm not supposed to dig into you. 
Not that it matters. Um, the way the cave works is actually pretty badass, though, I have to admit. Um, this is a... I have no idea how they found how this uh, this world, because it's really freaking awesome. Um, it's, like, amazing, but... And it sounds like... This world sounds like it's pretty fun to play, even without the uh, restrictions. So, I may just say fuck it to most of the restrictions and just play normally, but stay in the cave. Because it sounds like the cave, for once, is actually really big and fun to play in. Whereas, usually when I find caves, it's like, Oh my god, it's a brand new cave! I wonder if there's any diamonds. Oh, it's only ten blocks deep. Then I go find another cave, and I'm like, Oh god, this is so awesome! Oh, it's ten blocks deep. And then, yeah. Then I find the one that's 100 blocks deep, but doesn't have any goddamn elements or minerals in it. I would hope it has some elements in it. If it was completely devoid of matter of any kind, that would be actually kind of interesting. Okay. It's it's officially time to um, scream like a little girl and enter the... Uh, oh. The thing that... Um, fall down. There you go. Oh, God. What? No fair. Where did you... You are a bitch. You zombie person. Alright, I'm supposed to go down the waterfall. This is so mean because there's fucking monsters in there. And it's like, I can't really, I can't see anything to defend myself. Um. Shit. Go away. You know what? Yeah, the entrance is way too fucking dangerous in my opinion. Because I can't see anything. I don't have a weapon. I'm supposed to be following this current. So I'm just going to let the current take me down. But I'm not going to just fucking die while I'm doing it. Ow. Okay, so we hear what? Oh, Nito, this is not. Huh? Uh, this is not safe for one thing. Um. Yeah. All right. All right. But now that we're past that, I'm gonna stay on normal difficulty. And I guess I should. Mm hmm. Um... Shit. How did you sp- whoa. Hello. Hey, lava. It's been a while. How are the kids? I didn't ask you, Mr. Zombie. Nobody likes you. Yeah, you just- you just growl at me, buddy. Yeah, that- that- that makes you the bigger man, sure. Whatever, dude. I don't even care. I keep pressing I. Ugh. For the longest time, Minecraft would... Oh, right. Minecraft would not let me change that button. Um, well, I would change it, and then the next time I played, it would be un it would be reversed back to I. So I just left it as that to save myself the frustration. Okay, so... want to pick. Wait, what... What is that? Is that a pressure plate? Hooray, we got an upgrade here. Um, oh, yes. Very important. Because I want some fucking glass. Hot topic here. Um, I guess this is as good a place as any. Oh, redstone torches, by the way, are allowed. Every light source except torches is allowed. Um... And technically, I guess you can craft torches, you just can't place them. Because you can make jack-o'-lanterns, which require those things. Um, right, sand. Oh, I got a lot of sand. I will probably burn through all of this pretty quickly, though. Which will be unfortunate. Um, ugh, must resist. Oh, son of a whore. What's going on? Skeleton's dying. I love that sound, though. Love the sound of pain of skeletons. Is there anything under you? Yes, there is. Alright. Let's gather some coal. Oh, why am I using the U? Oh, right. I needed... Alright, I have an okay amount of dirt. Don't forget to gather dirt for your trees, though, um... 
There's lava is under this, isn't there? Oh no, there isn't. It's so very dangerous. Also, I'm like completely exposed to whatever baddies might be out there, but I'm glad the lava is around here, because that makes it slightly safe. If that makes any sense. Uh, oh my god, that takes so long. Uh, bitch and moan. I'm also not a patient man, so it's probably part of my problem with Minecraft. You know, it can be fun to do a nice, slow-paced, relaxing kind of thing, but... Even as that sort of an activity, Minecraft... Kinda slow for my... Whatever you say. I can't get you, can I? Right, I'll need iron. So that sucks. Right, I need iron for... Oh, god damn it, what? What? No! Um... You stop being made out of wood. Okay. Alright, whatever. Hmm. Another annoying thing will be finding minerals when, um... I can't place torches. I guess I can just use lava like a light. Like a lava lamp. Actually, that would be a pretty cool crafted item. Whoa. That's kind of bad. Ah. Whoa. Oh, shit. Why are the currents so ridiculously strong? Go away. No one loves you. You are a zombie. Sorry to be harsh. Son of a bitch, I hate you. Oh wow, they actually stay at a range if you keep hitting them. Did did he change the range for attacks or something? You used to have like a quarter of an inch worth of range for attacking. He might have if he lengthened that, then fighting may be considerably less painful. But still fairly painful. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, what I wanted to do was check my video settings, because it seems to be lagging a little. Uh, I guess that might help, maybe. Whoa! Don't lag near lava. Okay. Come on, dude, stop being alive. I hate when things live. It pains me so. can't see anything. Um, um, I, hmm. What should I build my thing out of? Stop that! You know what, I'm... Ugh, stupid lag. Oh, wait, this thing is bigger than I thought. Um, oh my god, the lag. I hate it so much, and I have the minimum settings on. Ah, oh, Look at that. It's inexcusable. Inexcusable. Shut up! Fucking zombie douches. Meow, look at me, I'm a zombie. Meow. I'm dead. Meow. Fucking think you're better than me. Just because you're dead. Alright, we should probably wall this. Shut up. Shut up. Oops. Crap. Oh, that's gonna bug me. Oh, I did not have as much glass as I thought I did. Why are you so slow? Uh. Alright, so, the thrilling conclusion of me dicking around in a random cave shall come to an end, and I'll be back when I have some of this... Oh my god. 
I hate this lag so much. Um, when I have a bit more of the house thing built, I guess. I don't know. I kind of thought this would be more exciting than it is. Because there's not much I can kind of do without surely dying. So that's unfortunate. I don't really like sure death, certain death. It's one of my least favorite kinds of death. I mean, uncertain death can, you know... You know, that, that can be kind of exciting, you know? It's like high-stakes gambling. Definite not-death, that's probably my favorite kind of death, if that counts. Certain death, not really a fan. Not really a fan at all. It just doesn't seem very fair. Alright, so next time, hopefully something exciting will happen, I guess.